right, so for a second there, I thought we weren't going to be able to get minnows, but uh, fortunately they're going to let us put them in a McDonald's cup, so we're going to be out on the water with some live. All right, we got two dozen minnows. Let's go see what we can do with them. Look how clear this water is, guys. Out here in the uh, two-person kayak, ready to put in some work. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, have some good luck here. It's looking like it's gonna be a, a good day to do some fishing. here I got two minnows hooked on uh, with two eagle claws leading off this double rig and a one ounce weight we're gonna go ahead and send this out and see if we can do some luck trolling on the way to the spot we're pitching the uh, KVD Strike King chartreuse 2.5 topwater crankbait we're here fishing a couple uh, banks before the Sun starts coming out and then we're gonna go out into deeper water Josh show us what you got going on over there nice Absolutely. Yeah, Josh is fishing for something big out here, so hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can get on to some bass here today. We'll keep you guys updated. Yo, fish. Let's go. First little fish out here trolling. Nice little white perch. This is exactly what I'm out here looking for with this double rig. Yeah, this is the perfect depth. Uh, this is like a four to six foot depth crank, I think. All right guys, I'm just rigging up uh, one of these Alabama crawl uh, bandito bugs. I got it set up on a four offset hook with a, uh, I believe it's a, a quarter ounce slide down weight. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that out here. We're fishing some of these. Uh, guys, hooked up. Droplets. It feels like a nice fish. He's running with it. Here we go, here we go. Nice Don't let him jump out of the water. Don't let him jump out. Net out, net out. Oh, he's under the boat. He's under the boat. He's coming up. He's under the moat, Josh. Hey, just, just hold him there. Don't let, don't let him uh, have. Here we go. Here we go. Here, hold him there. Hold him there. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Got a pig. Got a pig on the Guggen baits. Let's go, baby. First. He's got some. That's a good fish. Dude, it's a great fish. That's a. It's pushing four pounds. Check it out, guys. Got this massive pig out here with the Guggen Baits, uh, the Alabama Crack and Crawl, probably a four pound bass. We're getting ready to get this guy weighed here. Just a beautiful fish, a monster, a total. All right, guys, like I said, uh, we just I just pulled in my personal best trophy bass. Um, and I was actually letting him get a little bit of water to come back up and I, uh, I let him go back in so we could not get a weight on him. Um, but there's no doubt that fish was between three and a half and four pounds. Four pounds. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, and so now we're, we're using the same uh, crack and crawls. I mean, I'm sorry, bandito bugs. Uh, Josh is on the watermelon red flake right now, and I'm on the same old trusty uh, Alabama crawl. So yeah, we're going to put in some work with these Guggen baits here. we got a lot more baits to, uh, to review over here still, so we're going to get all these Guggen baits taken care of and hopefully pull in some more trophy bass. So shout out to those Guggen baits for pulling in my PB, and hopefully we can keep putting in some work here. Dude, that was a pig. Dude, I always thought people like... I always thought those Guggen baits were just like all talk, you know what I mean? Like people would catch fish on them from time, you know what I mean? But like, what good is it than any other soft plastics, you know? But like, dude, I just ripped my best fish out of here so far on this bait. And it was as soon as I threw it on, you know what I mean? So like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm all about these Guggen baits, if they keep working. A little expensive, but they catch fish.